Welcome to my channel, Planet Maserati. I'm going to be doing a little flip through of actually just showing you like what I have been doing with this book here, which is a journal book or a notebook as some people say. Um, this book here I believe I got from uh, Michael's, I want to say. It could have been Michael's or Joanne's. It's one or the other. It says, life is short, break the rules, give love, laugh lots. Never regret the things that made you smile. And I just thought this was very cute. Give love, laugh lots. And then again, that's what's down in the back. It doesn't say the brand or anything that I see. As you can see, it's silver foiling on the edges. So nice touches. I've had this book forever, like a very long time. I never use this page, so I'm just going to double-side it so that it just lays, when it's open, it'll lay flat. This is the reason why I don't use the front pages of everything. And I just started an index, a page description, and what it is. And I left a couple pages for that reason. Doing a little sneak peek there. So you see, it's not going to need a lot of pages anyway. So whatever's left over, I'll probably put a quote or something like that. Let me bring you down a little bit. Sorry, you had to go for a ride there. So yeah, so I number my pages when I start the journal. So this is page one. So what I've been doing is putting journal, journaling, lists, um, self-care, you know, motivational, things like that in here. So that's what this book is going to be. So what I did is every page that I'm using for the journal prompts is the first one that I'm doing and it says list. So what I'm doing for here is every page that is for this, I am putting the same color washi front and back, as you can see. But I'm keeping it, I'm not folding it over and you know working it like that because I want to still see the silver. So I'm not doing it to color code, I'm just doing it to make the page look pretty, basically. So what I'm doing here is like, again, the journal prompts is a list. So I'm going to give you a couple examples, like one, things that inspire you. Two, things that you are grateful for this week. Three, daily gratitude. Four, priorities for the life, I'm sorry, priorities for life, year, month, week, and today. Five would be like your favorite books, movies, artists, and songs. So it's kind of like what you do as a tracker or like when you're doing your collections. That's pretty much what this is. Um, six, your, all the movies and shows you've watched. Seven, happiest memories. Eight, favorite people and why. Nine, like places to go, and you know, and so on. So when you turn the page... Again, you're going to see some more. So there's more of the list. So this goes up to 20 on the list. So like 12 is the best meals you've cooked. So, and so on. As you can see. I think it's better if I show it this way. So then next is letters. So now you want to do 21 to 26. Like letters to yourself. Letters to those important to me. Letters to someone who you need to forgive. Letters to your past self. I'm saying letters, but it's letter. Letter to future self. And then so on. The next one would be past. So you got 27. And again, you see the same color washi. I just think it looks so cute like that. To 44. So this is your past self. Now you're going to go into your present self. So you have like, the present self is like 45. What is causing you stress? Huh. I can name a lot, but yeah, so 45 through 60. And I thought I was done when I took the picture of, and everything I find in here, everything that I've wrote down and found is from Pinterest. Like, Pinterest is my jam. Like, I use Pinterest a lot. So here, I can just put a quote, I can put something cute, maybe even doodle a little bit, who knows, just make it look pretty. But I love how the washi turned out in here. It looks like it, especially on camera, it looks like it was there. 
And it makes the page just feel so cute. I like it. So then the next page. And like I said, I thought I was done. But I wasn't. But I'll explain in a minute. So that's number 60. So since I thought I was done, I went with number one, the list. Things that inspire you. Okay, so I left pages. I even numbered the page, which is eight. Which you'll find in the index. So one through seven, journal prompts, eight, and I didn't finish it, is journal prompt answers. So that would be me journaling about it. So I was like, I'm not going to do this all today because, you know, to do all those answers and, you know, wanting to journal about it would take forever. That will be your whole day. So what I did is I left pages blank, but I was going to do one a day. So there was how many for the list? There are a total of 20. So 20 days of list. Letters would be 21 to 26. Again, pass is 27. And this is why I numbered it the way I did. To 44. Present, 45 to 60. So that's how I was going to do. So in 60 days, I thought I would be done. I lied to myself. So, I did not put washi here, because I don't know if I want to keep going with the same color. Well, obviously, I should, though, because I started it with the same color. But have it all cohesive. So, I'm going to go to where I believe 60 would be. And I left a couple extra pages, as you can see. I left a few extra pages. Just so that if I need an extra page, I have it. So, then we get into... What I thought I was done. So as I flipped the, you know, like, you take a screenshot of what you like. Well, I deleted that from my phone. And Bill was like, wait a minute. Why does the next picture say 61? And I looked and it was journal prompts continued. So with the last one being 60, I'm going to have to start a whole new one. So I just did... A different color washi and this one I only got it for a penny at, uh, I forgot the name oh my god blitzy no I don't remember the name but I got it for one penny and I bought 20 of them I think I bought all of them it was on clearance but it was only one penny so that's where I left off at so there's 60 and what was this one the present so now I would have to finish the present to 68. So I left enough room for 60 of them, right? So then you'll see the difference. So 61 to 68 will be present again. Uh, 69 is the future. So now this is the future self. To 77. Um, 78 to 82 is sensory. So, and then, you can find this on Pinterest. I wish I would have kept the picture. And then 83 to, well, it's to ponder, which is 83 to 101. And no, there was no more else that I've seen in my camera. So, yeah, so that is this. And then again, I can journal or whatever. So I went ahead and kind of counted the pages and left a couple of extras. That brings me to here. Where the bookmark is. And I didn't even realize this had a purple bookmark. Which is so cute. And I kind of went with the washi. That I thought would look pretty in here. Because it's not a holiday book. It's not nothing like that. It's just you journaling and yourself. Like if that makes sense. Like your self care. Your journaling. Things like that. So now we get into. 30 journal prompts. And there's only 30 of them. 30 journal prompts, self-love. So then here is an example of, one, list 10 things you love about yourself. Two, list five things you're proud of. And I could have did it as I went, like list 10 things, and listed it, and then went to journal two. But I want to do it in a separate page. I just want the prompts. So if I don't want to do them in order, you really don't have to. But I think I'm going to, but you really don't, like I said, you really don't have to. And this is probably crazy to some, but I had some spare time today. 
and I did this all today so and it didn't take long so two list five things you're proud of three describe how you take care of yourself four does yourself need improvement and how would you improve it how would you approve it improve what am I saying approve like if you have to approve something and then like five, if someone asked you to describe yourself, how would you? That's a good question because you wouldn't, I wouldn't even know like how to answer that. And then here, list five things you're good at. I'm good at crafting. Um, see, and then I forget. <laughs> so that's what you would do. It's like you would list things. Seven would be like, list ten things you wish someone told you every single day. So that would be kind of personal in some sense. In some sense it wouldn't. To me it would be. And then it just goes on to the next page. And then these washi tapes, well, this washi tape here and this washi tape is from the Dollar Tree. And it does stick well here. I'm surprised. Because I used to have real crazy problems with washi from the Dollar Tree being non-sticky. I haven't had to use double-sided tape, so that's good. If it does tend to come off, I have double-sided tape for that. So then, it keeps going to 30, like I said. So then I left room for this, which is not that much. So here's more pages empty. So let's get into the next one. The next one's pretty good. So this one here says using journaling and self-kindness to improve well-being. And then journaling doesn't need to take up big chunks of time. Set a few minutes aside in the morning or it, and or in the evening or evening to set great intentions and review your day. So then here is your morning journaling. So like I'll give you an example. Because it kind of goes with the evening journaling as well. One, what's on your to-do list? Two, what am I grateful for this morning? Three, what do I give permission for myself to do today? And four, what do I want to get out of today? Okay, then you go into five. How will I practice self-kindness today? So now these are going to reflect some of these. What went well today? What am I proud of today? What strengths have I used today? What was challenging today? How can I better face these challenges next time? In 10, just checking the time. What have I learned today? And then 11, what did I do to practice self-kindness? And it goes with number 5, how will I practice self-kindness? 11 is what did I do to practice self, you know, self-kindness. So I thought that was good, you know, like, and then, like, in later on in life, you can put that in, like, a time capsule, whatever, look back at it, and you can rejournal it and see what's changed. And you can be like, wow, I grew from it, or I went, you know, I didn't grow from anything. So that's what I was thinking. And here I just use gold, gold little washi. A little sparkly. So yeah, so that's that. So then you get into the kind self-kindness ideas. Now this is not something you have to journal. These are just ideas. So one is free and easy. Well, it's not one. It's what's free and easy. So like one is light a candle. That's, that's simple. Um, four, watch a movie. Five, bake. Eight, take a nap. Nine, enjoy tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. I don't think, like, when I have coffee, it's iced coffee. And I really don't enjoy the iced coffee is like you should. Like, oh, this, you know, I'm enjoying my day. You know, I'm going to have a nice, nice iced coffee. A lot of people don't do that. They take it for granted. And they take being, like, that me time for granted. Like, you're not productive or whatever. I don't know. I'm getting a little sappy here. <laughs> so then I did 1 through 14 on here. It wasn't numbered when I got it. And again, these prompts that I'm telling you on top are what was 
the prompts. So using journaling and self-kindness to improve well-being is all together with this one. But I made them separately so that I can do it separately. So free and easy is 1 through 14, which is not numbered again on there. The next level would be something you're going to be paying for. Like go and get your nails or hair done. That's 15, and then I have till 20 up here. Buy a book online or at the bookshop. Buy yourself a gift off Etsy. That's a good one. Go on a shopping spree. I love that one. Go on an online shopping spree for clothes. I don't like to shop for clothes. I don't know why. It's just not me, I guess. And then it goes all the way to 28. So I left it like it was. So you have your free and easy in your next level. So then now is kindness to others. So tidy and clean the family home. Donate some of your clutter to the OP shop. So I'm assuming that's like your uh, what you, goodwill and stuff like that. Bake or cook something for someone else or to take to work. Make a Christmas or birthday card. Make a Christmas or birthday present. Write letters to loved ones. Write a letter to someone you'd admire. And then so on. Text a text or call a friend just to get coffee. Or wait, no. Text or call a friend just to see how they are. There is one that says, oh here, take a friend out for coffee. Compliment a friend or a stranger. And that is where I left off. And I left enough pages so I could either one, do another one. Or just, you know, whatever. But that is my journaling book that I'll be working on. Um, I may come in time to time to show you what it looks like, what I've done to it, or whatever. But yeah, so I left. Um, this, again, will be together. I may even put this one together with this so that it just straight opens. But then again, I kind of probably want to put something here. And then I left a couple pages extra, 